Yeah, morning everybody. In in this lecture, uh, we are going to uh, see a little bit basics about ALU design, uh, and then uh, we will uh, start with microprocessor design, and we'll continue with microprocessor design in the uh, su subsequent two classes also. So because that is a uh, big topic as such. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, to start with, let, let's uh, just recall what we have learned till now. Uh, we learned the differences between the uh, uh, CISC and RISC, right? So a complex uh, instruction set computer, right? What uh, what are the features? Uh, we uh, saw that you know, it can uh, handle complex instructions, you know, and hence the uh, difference between the high-level language and the now instruction set is very very low because many uh, the uh, sys can uh, architecture the isa can handle uh, no, very very complex instructions also and hence the uh, code size will be uh, small so the requirement of the uh, memory is very very less uh, so uh, no, while compared to risk in risk we have we see that we can only write small small instructions uh, and accordingly uh, no, and hence it requires a large ramps but uh, uh, that is the only uh, disadvantage um, uh, the cost is high because uh, to implement these complex instructions and the processor design is going to be uh, complex right okay uh, so uh, whereas uh, here the implementation the hardware implementation is easy and hence the uh, cost is low uh, so uh, this is a uh, more uh, software oriented and this is more uh, hardware oriented uh, hardware is simple out here but you need to write in uh, a big programs here here the hardware is complex and, and hence the uh, software is uh, slightly e easy so that is the uh, dif basic difference between uh, these two kinds of computers uh, and also uh, uh, we told uh, the speed is uh, fast uh, here uh, but the thing is uh, the uh, the codes will have to be uh, no, no, there will be micro codes because they are all uh, complex uh, codes here so they need to be uh, uh, generated fast so then the, you will get a good speed uh, here it is since the codes are very small so they are uh, uh, each one have to be uh, fetched in a sequential manner uh, and it has to be executed one by one uh, but then the problem is overcome using uh, registers and uh, pipelining so this is the basic difference between an uh, cisc and an rsa risc processors okay uh, so if you see an uh, cia processor and then we also uh, discussed one example uh, where uh, uh, if we have to subtract a and b uh, and put the data into a then we can straight away write and uh, subtract uh, a a a a a comma b okay that means uh, uh, b will be subtracted from a and the result will be uh, stored in a uh, and similarly if i write uh, add b uh, b1 it will uh, add whatever is the contents of b uh, it will add one to it and the contents of b will be uh, updated so this is how and uh, just you can see these two instructions just required one one line now uh, whereas uh, for the same thing to be executed in an uh, risk code uh, you require a set of instructions because now uh, firstly primarily uh, 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 all the uh, add subtract this can happen only between uh, register and register whereas uh, what is indicated here uh, is memory memory right in in the sys code uh, supports memory memory uh, 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 operations okay so this is a uh, generalized one uh, whereas in uh, uh, here uh, two memories are being added and this result is stored in one memory in 8086 we saw this is not permitted uh, one has to be a register okay uh, but nevertheless this is the uh, general uh, format out here now uh, if you see here in the risk code uh, first we need to get the contents of uh, whatever is shown here that is uh, in a square bracket there the uh, memory locations right so whatever is there in this memory that needs to be loaded into one register whatever is there in b uh, needs to be brought into the second register and then you give a subtract uh, command now, again the result will be stored into a uh, third uh, memory uh, and in r2 we have already a uh, brought one so we write an add thing and so that uh, r2 plus one will be available at uh, r4 and then again we uh, use the store command to uh, push this data from r3 and r4 uh, into memory locations indicated by uh, a and b so if you see here these are only uh, two lines of code whereas here one two three four five uh, six lines of uh, codes are uh, required so uh, that is what uh, i said Ki th this uh, if i see if, if we go back here it says the code size is small whereas here it is uh, large okay uh, so these are the uh, two basic uh, variants of uh, cpu uh, design 
So, uh, before getting into a microprocessor design, let us see an, a basic ELU. So, this is an, a basic ELU uh, minimum uh, design which does the minimum functions. Okay. They could be more complex ELUs also, but we will uh, uh, look at it at the uh, ba uh, basic one and then we proceed with the designing of the microprocessor. Uh, and if you are not able to meet the specifications, then uh, probably we can uh, look at uh, making this uh, uh, ALU more powerful, uh, uh, capable of undertaking more uh, complex uh, tasks. Okay. Uh, so, it can do uh, these instructions like uh, add, subtraction, and or XOR, and, uh, load upper immediate, and uh, SLL, SRL, uh, and SRA. Okay. So, we will see uh, what all these is. Uh, so uh, and and you have these two uh, uh, 32 bit lines uh, uh, data lines a and b coming to the alu uh, and you have a uh, 4 bit uh, line coming here uh, uh, which is known as alu control okay so alu control will tell uh, alu now what operation is to be done two two 32 bit data is coming to the alu and one control line we have so the control line will say okay uh, what is the uh, operation is to be done with these two uh, datas uh, suppose i have to do an uh, addition operation uh, in that case i place this 32 bit data uh, a and b here and uh, this is a uh, subtraction right so if i give a uh, one here uh, it will subtract if i give zero here uh, it will do the uh, addition out here right uh, that um, th this particular block also we saw in one of our uh, earlier classes uh, where an uh, adder subtractor how we can uh, implement right if you recall from there so if i give it one here it is going to subtract zero it is going to add here so for add i need to give a zero and uh, what is the uh, bit which is coming here alu control second bit that means uh, from uh, here uh, three zero and three right whereas the second bit that means this uh, this is zero out here and one uh, subtraction okay so this is one okay so it will do that okay but this output there are other functions also this output uh, needs to be rooted towards the um, output also right so uh, how to how to do that so this is an uh, multiplexer okay uh, it is an uh, mux out here now if if zero is to be uh, selected right for add and subtract then uh, and, uh, here I have to place uh, 0 0 so this is an, an a 4 into 1 multiplexer so two lines would come here right so these are the two lines 0 and 1 okay this, although it is only single line is shown here there are two lines it's in a data bus 1 0 two lines are coming here uh, here 31 lines are uh, 32 lines 32 lines okay 32 bit data 32 bit data uh, so if you see if you see here this 0 will be selected here and the sum will be rooted towards the uh, output okay uh, so now if you see here it is an uh, 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 first of all we need to give an uh, 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 zero or one here which will uh, decide whether it is zero or one so this is zero and one uh, and then for this module uh, output to be available here i need to give a zero zero so uh, this is what the control data will be x x uh, x x means it doesn't matter because if you see here uh, four can have an a uh, uh, total uh, 16 combinations right uh, whereas we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 only 9 kind of operations which you can do so some of them will be uh, don't care conditions so these are uh, don't care so if i give 0 0 0 here then this will uh, add and give the result out here if i give 1 0 0 it will uh, subtract it will do a minus b and it will give the uh, output here right now the uh, the third uh, second uh, third uh, operation is an uh, and operation right so if you see here uh, this is an and operation it is a bitwise and okay uh, so only one gate is uh, shown here one and gate actually there will be 32 such and gates and uh, uh, each corresponding bits and uh, uh, they will uh, add and then you will get a 32 bit output uh, similarly there are uh, 32 bit and uh, uh, 32 or gates and each bit uh, bitwise or operation will be done and then uh, accordingly that output now uh, there is again a mux out here okay uh, now if you see this and operation is done uh, no, irrespective of whatever is the control signal uh, and and or uh, no, operation will be done and those outputs will be uh, available here for that outputs to be uh, rooted out here you have a uh, one bit so uh, 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 this is what uh, 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 control bit uh, 2 ok now if you see the control bit 2 means if, if the second one uh, has to be uh, uh, for 0 uh, and would go and for 1 
uh, or will go so that is why this is 0 and this is 1 here like you had that 0 and 1 uh, selecting add and subtract as the same bit line is given here so 0 and 1 means will 0 and 1 in this case will select uh, and and uh, or out here out here right so it will be available here now this output uh, needs to be uh, you know uh, one of them needs to be uh, brought to the uh, output so what we do again you have this mux and for one th this line to be available out uh, you need to give uh, 0 1 here so if you see here it is 0 1 and 0 1 so uh, this is the uh, control word for uh, control word you know, for the uh, and and or okay uh, similarly you can have an uh, xor gate out here now if you see here uh, xor gate uh, again uh, a b is available out here right uh, and then you given a zero out here so so zero uh, for this max if zero this gets uh, rooted out here so i have an uh, so zero one zero out here now right okay so x or get uh, uh, and this is uh, one zero because this is the uh, third one right from here now the uh, uh, zero uh, two the input two requires to be uh, output so you have to give an uh, input here as uh, two so it is becomes for then x or one it becomes one zero similarly for uh, load uh, upper immediate uh, here th this line you, know, you have a b coming here right and a uh, 15 zero like only the uh, upper like we learned this right load upper immediate uh, where uh, the data will be uh, taken uh, uh, from uh, 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 the immediate data which is coming here uh, that will be uh, taken which is available in the bus bar only 16 bits will be taken and that will be stored into the uh, upper portion of the register right that is from the uh, 16 to 31 okay uh, from 16 to 31 and uh, into that register only the data will be uh, stored here so that that this data immediate data will be taken out here and uh, result will be stored into the uh, uh, 16 uh, from the 16 to 31 right so that line gets and uh, from here that gets an uh, selected uh, to the output uh, if you give here a uh, one right so this is uh, one out here and one zero selects the two line output okay uh, and then you have the uh, 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 shift uh, uh, register out here now in the uh, shift register also we saw uh, it is a 32 bit register uh, so the first uh, uh, five bits uh, uh, will tell uh, how much the data requires to be uh, shifted right uh, so that is why you take uh, this five bits as an uh, essay essay right so that will uh, because only five bits are required maximum you can do 32 times shift right so so you are taking just the uh, five bits uh, out here right uh, and then whether uh, then again there are uh, uh, right and arithmetic two inputs okay so if this is an uh, one it will shift towards the right if it is zero then it will shift towards the uh, left and uh, similarly if this is one uh, it will do an arithmetic shift and if it is zero it will do an uh, logical shift so uh, these instructions and uh, what it does uh, we studied in our uh, last class so um, accordingly for for this output uh, to be rooted out so here it has to be one one uh, so th that why this is an a uh, one one uh, out here the, the last two is one one here for all the three uh, because if this line needs to be connected here you need to give a one one here so one zero is a one one here right so uh, zero zero means it is it is logical uh, because a uh, three it, uh, one stands for um, uh, arithmetic so that is how uh, this has uh, come zero zero and one here right the msb if you see the msb is for arithmetic so zero zero is logical and one for the uh, uh, this thing and this is for the uh, right right operation right uh, if it is one uh, it will be uh, right and if it is zero uh, and we said there is no uh, arithmetic left doesn't make any uh, uh, right uh, uh, meaning because it is same as uh, na, a logical left only arithmetic right na, uh, is of uh, na, makes a sense because you are going to preserve the uh, sign okay so that is how an uh, uh, alu now uh, design and uh, uh, looks like okay so let's uh, move forward from here uh, now uh, uh, having uh, uh, seen uh, how an uh, alu uh, looks like let's uh, proceed with uh, designing a uh, microprocessor okay uh, so uh, before uh, starting so these are the 
na uh, uh, starting point for designing a microprocessor uh, first an instruction set we need to uh, na finalize some kind of instruction set right uh, and then uh, uh, how to, from the instruction set uh, we need to uh, create an ha hardware architecture okay uh, which optimizes uh, na, the uh, design uh, in terms of speed and uh, cost right mm, and uh, some issues like whether we need to use this instruction sysc instruction or reduce instruction uh, we need to uh, think about that okay so that is how the starting point uh, na, is from where the microprocessor uh, design is done uh, now if you see a uh, microprocessor uh, it has got an uh, alu arithmetic logic unit which just we uh, what we discussed just now uh, then it will have a control unit and an uh, register uh, array and and then from you uh, you can have an input de device uh, th these are within the microprocessor now outside you will have an input device output device and an, a memory unit where the program is uh, stored uh, it will keep fetching uh, the program from here it will keep executing it okay now the uh, alu and the register uh, array uh, together will be known as then uh, execution unit uh, and the control unit okay so what the functions of these and uh, we will discuss in uh, detail in the next uh, few uh, slides okay now the cpu uh, the data the path of the cpu or the function of the cpu can be uh, classified into two uh, one is known as the control path and which is done by the controller and the other is the data path uh, which is done by the execution unit okay so execution unit is uh, nothing but an uh, no, mix of uh, alu and a register array and there will be uh, some uh, bus so uh, we'll see these in uh, detail in the next uh, few slides uh, now uh, this is uh, how an uh, uh, microprocessor will chip look like uh, these are the uh, pads okay pads means those pins uh, which will uh, 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 there will be some uh, circuit which will uh, uh, isolate the uh, main uh, circuit uh, from the external factor so the io pads generally uh, they'll have uh, esd product, uh, uh, protection and buffers and things like that and then finally you'll have a pin uh, coming out okay uh, so the here uh, you have uh, certain pins which for for bus control clock reset interrupts uh, some uh, io pads out here for address and some uh, io pads out here for uh, data okay now what is uh, shown in uh, red out here all, all these blocks they together uh, they form the execution unit okay so uh, what is there in the execution unit uh, you have an uh, uh, alu uh, you have an uh, you can have an additional uh, sh uh, shifter although shifter is available in the uh, alu also like we discussed uh, but then uh, shifters are uh, it's uh, it can do a lot of functions like like for uh, for example uh, multiplication uh, by 2 right and all that you need to do is you can uh, shift the data uh, uh, towards the right uh, suppose you have a, a 8 bit uh, 4, 4 bit register let's consider 0, 0, 0, uh, 1 right uh, so it is it is a uh, one if i shift it towards the right uh, and insert a zero uh, from the uh, shift it towards the left and um, um, uh, put a zero uh, from the lsb side then it will become zero zero one zero which is two uh, again you shift it one it will become a uh, four you shift it one it becomes eight uh, similarly if you shift it the other direction it will become uh, uh, it will be uh, divided by two so uh, and, and also you know, we have seen a uh, booth multipliers and things like that so shifters uh, although it's part of ALU, you, you can have an additional shifter because it is you know, uh, largely used. You know, it is used to uh, round off decimals. Okay, uh, it is uh, right. So uh, while uh, we have also seen you know, uh, shifters being used, you know, if you have to load uh, data from the you know, lower half to upper half of the memory and things like that. Okay, uh, so uh, and hence you have an you have an ALU, you have a shifter and then you have a uh, set of registers okay uh, so there will be a sort of uh, internal uh, registers which can be used by the uh, programmer okay and also you will have a uh, program uh, counter out there okay now uh, what is the function of the program counter it keeps uh, pointing out uh, to the address from where the next instruction uh, you have written a program right so uh, as you keep executing the program the program counter will automatically uh, keep uh, increasing now uh, so it will point out uh, from where the next uh, 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 instruction needs to be uh, brought and uh, executed so uh, if uh, while executing a program uh, if there is an, a jump instruction right if there is a jump instruction where 
and in the inspection certain conditions have been um, an, uh, encountered and then uh, you want the program to shift an, uh, from uh, instead of an, uh, skip few lines and go uh, further ahead or go back to some previous address so that new address will be uh, loaded into the uh, pc so this pc essentially uh, will always have an, an uh, address now okay which is from where the next instruction needs to be uh, brought okay so uh, that the data of the pc uh, will be uh, fed to the uh, address out buffer okay and and so so that uh, now from here the uh, that particular memory will be activated and and that uh, once the memory gets activated from the memory the data will come into the data in out uh, register okay uh, so you can either write data into the memory or uh, read data uh, from the memory so in that case both these you know, uh, registers uh, will have a role okay o both these uh, buffers okay uh, address in out buffer uh, as well as the data input output and in a buffer so they will both be, you know, uh, work and then uh, you know, the data will be uh, given out the, the address bus, bus will point towards the uh, address from where uh, to the address of the memory uh, from where the data needs to be uh, uh, to be retrieved or to be uh, stored okay so that will plan here uh, either the data will come from the memory into into this data bus bar into this register uh, or the data from the registry will uh, will be uh, written okay so in in certain microprocessors uh, these uh, are uh, multiplexed and you have only uh, one set of an uh, uh, address lines and data lines in 8086 if you see uh, they are multiplexed okay so for the time being i uh, will keep these uh, two as uh, separate things okay now uh, this is what uh, all about an uh, uh, alu uh, over and above the uh, alu uh, the, the, again the uh, this whatever uh, shown in uh, blue is known as the uh, control unit so this also plays a uh, major role uh, so you have a uh, certain uh, uh, blocks out here so the first is the uh, uh, instruction a uh, prefetch register now that means now while one particular instruction uh, is being executed the program counter uh, will move towards the next instruction from where the uh, program uh, needs to be the code needs to be brought so pc always uh, no, once the execution starts and this will be automatically updated and the instruction prefetch register it will not wait for that execution uh, uh, to get completed but it will prefetch you know it will get the next set of instructions uh, because those instructions uh, needs to be decoded so so you will have an instruction uh, decoder uh, or if it is a uh, simple uh, instruction then uh, directly uh, uh, because they are all uh, binary uh, uh, signals right so the what the control word does is okay uh, uh, the whatever is the instruction uh, finally the control word if, if i go back here this is the control word which is coming to the alu right so which will tell uh, the alu uh, what is to be done what operation requires to be done so this is what is being done here the control word uh, uh, will be uh, decoded here right so uh, in in some cases uh, you will have uh, some uh, data for like for example for uh, uh, immediate operations okay so the data itself will be available uh, here right uh, so uh, to be added to the alu right um, like you have uh, uh, add rx and uh, say some data uh, 10 so that 10 data 10 will be directly given to the data input output so so that is why you have one line uh, out here uh, and and then uh, some of the you know, uh, codes like an uh, uh, isa uh, can uh, can have micro code so you require a control store because uh, we are talking about a microprocessor sys microprocessor here where complex instructions also it can handle so some of them uh, can have uh, some micro codes you know, so uh, so once the instruction is in a, uh, uh, coming out here so there will be a state sequencer also uh, so uh, they, so those micro codes would be run and accordingly the control word and a decoder and uh, will uh, generate those kind of uh, uh, signals required for the uh, alu right so state sequencer just tells okay what is the uh, next step to be uh, done once you have an instruction so this is a uh, general uh, layout of an uh, microprocessor right now uh, uh, let, let's see uh, how an uh, example of instruction decoding okay uh, for example uh, th this is how an we said uh, in an uh, 
uh, uh, foreign risk uh, uh, processor generally it is it is 32 bits and if i have to do an, an add instruction so this will be zero this will be the uh, number uh, like like there are 32 registers and hence uh, five bits are uh, reserved to tell which register the data needs to be on a, uh, on a, from where the data this is the source register so from where the data needs to be uh, taken uh, this is another uh, register from where the uh, data needs to be taken again it's an a uh, five bit data uh, this is the number of the register where the result needs to be uh, stored so this is the kind of uh, instruction uh, in, in in which uh, we tell an uh, add between uh, to register add rs and rt and the results needs to be put into rd okay now uh, if similarly 8086 will have uh, some other kind of an uh, instruction format uh, suppose it is sub bx and and, and di uh, and within bracket uh, it uh, this is the code for the sub subtraction right uh, uh, and then uh, 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 and, and this is the uh, uh, i think yeah yeah this is the uh, op code okay uh, the, the, these bits you know, for subtraction uh, this is the uh, no, direction right whether it is to be returned from from here to here or here to here okay so uh, that uh, this indicates the direction uh, this indicates whether it is an word or a byte right this is a mod right mod means we have uh, various kinds of this you might have read in your uh, 8086 and uh, uh, last semester and uh, a microprocessor uh, subject a uh, mod indicates whether uh, uh, it is going to be uh, with the displacement memory or with just register uh, or uh, uh, memory without displacement or memory with displacement okay uh, so this is the kind of uh, format uh, we have right so so you will have uh, this kind of uh, uh, machine language uh, code uh, right once you write uh, this kind of uh, code right so the data which will be uh, stored in the memory will be uh, like this right so uh, now while executing that and uh, what is done is uh, first and uh, the first uh, uh, word is uh, 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 fetched from the memory and it will be decoded right so first uh, half word will be brought and and uh, 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 and then uh, now from here you will see the add control sequence will be uh, uh, decided right because uh, d will tell uh, uh, what is the control sequence whether it is to be uh, 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 this minus this or this minus this that is decided by this d right so the first byte is brought okay and then the add control sequence uh, 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 will be uh, decided now then you bring the uh, next uh, uh, sequence uh, next you fetch the next byte okay calculate the uh, operand uh, addresses okay uh, on what all things are to be uh, subtracted so that is done uh, and then uh, now once that is done and then you fetch the operand and then uh, add it and then store the result so these are the uh, while executing this particular uh, uh, subtraction uh, it should be a uh, uh, sub out here right i have given an example of a subtraction uh, so instead of add it will be uh, subtract okay uh, so these are the different uh, 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 steps which are involved in executing this particular uh, instruction right and now also uh, while uh, this particular instruction is being uh, done right parallelly these things also uh, happen like once this instruction is uh, fetched this particular instruction it is being uh, decoded right and the second instruction will be uh, fetched and kept in in, in the uh, queue okay uh, so to, uh, so that we don't uh, waste time and and when this is being executed the first instruction uh, this will be uh, decoded right uh, and and when this is being decoded the next instruction will be brought so if you, this is known as a pipelining okay so this will uh, save time so uh, instead of waiting for getting one uh, instruction uh, decoding it and then executing it and getting the results uh, and then fetch the next data uh, but uh, no that will waste a lot of time so you will find that uh, first once once the first instruction is fetched and while decoding is being done done uh, so it will the fetch instruction uh, will uh, st start getting the uh, next uh, instruction okay so uh, you will find this is known as uh, pipelining okay so okay uh, now um, after having uh, done that now we know a little bit uh, basics about uh, uh, what a microprocessor looks like 
uh, we started with an uh, the design inside the alu then we uh, have a general idea of of, of an a microprocessor okay there has to be a control unit and a, this is how an instruction set looks like okay so we have a, a broad idea about all the uh, small small components of an a microprocessor okay now uh, we have to start designing a microprocessor how to start that okay so we make an a uh, flow chart okay so uh, what is a flow chart a uh, flow chart means an uh, hardware uh, which cap uh, captures the activities inside the processor okay in a step to step uh, basis okay so uh, depending on our uh, specs okay now some specifications have been uh, given to us so we want to make a microprocessor uh, which makes an uh, which meets those uh, specs so whatever uh, instructions are required to execute those uh, na, specs given by the user uh, we start uh, writing uh, making flow charts for that so the flow chart essentially uh, captures in a step to step in a uh, on a, uh, base, uh, on a step, uh, control step basis what activities requires to be uh, done by the uh, microprocessor okay uh, uh, <clears throat> it is like a register transfer level uh, tool okay uh, to uh, given uh, example uh, like uh, we uh, instead of drawing a circuit we write uh, these kind of uh, instructions in flow chart method like uh, rx a alu means uh, the data from rx uh, through uh, bus a okay bus a is the data bus uh, needs to be uh, loaded to alu okay so if you see here uh, this is not an isa right so this is an uh, uh, this is a kind of language which is very very uh, close to the uh, hardware okay so this is how an uh, uh, hardware which needs to be uh, implemented is uh, specified so this can be easily understood by an uh, hardware engineer right you are uh, very clearly specifying data of rx through data bus a needs to be loaded into alu so this is the uh, kind of in, you know, in the flow chart this is the kind of instructions we uh, write okay uh, so the objective is uh, of the flow chart is uh, to uh, limit the controller size right you have an, a set of user specifications so now that i'm going to uh, design a, a, a say a pentium 9 and i'm going to use an the latest available processor for that suppose i have an, a very limited an, uh, an objective now user specification just to uh, meet that uh, what is the optimum uh, na, uh, processor which I need to design. So uh, in the flowchart method, it uh, limits the controller uh, na, uh, size to some fraction of the chip area. Okay, so we are going to just uh, try and meet the specifications. Okay, we are not going to make an uh, na, an uh, uh, ALU which does uh, uh, a microprocessor uh, which uh, does an uh, all. Uh, now whatever work can, uh, uh, now it can be assigned to so we are basically going to uh, focus on the specifications and trying to meet that okay uh, so obviously since it is a focused uh, 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 activity so it becomes an, uh, as fast as possible uh, complete the project as early as possible and it, it is now like I said the flow charts will uh, is very easy for the hardware engineer to understand and it will be easy for him to translate into uh, hardware right so there are uh, certain uh, things which are uh, required uh, uh, as an uh, prerequisite for starting the flow chart method uh, first is the instruction set summary okay uh, so instruction uh, formats uh, we uh, discuss uh, operations what are the operations which we can use addressing modes okay what are the various addressing modes um, base plus displacement register index index and so on right and and the registers so uh, this these, these information uh, should be available uh, with the uh, na, uh, designer initially what is the instruction set okay uh, and uh, using those instruction sets only we will try to uh, make the uh, flow chart so this has to be uh, clearly specified in the uh, beginning uh, itself right so um, if it is not there we take a minimal uh, instruction set which we'll see in the next class uh, we'll we'll take a minimal instruction set like we'll we'll uh, so to start with we'll say we just have uh, eight instructions okay now we try to build a microprocessor with this eight eight or ten instructions and if at all we are not able to uh, meet the requirements uh, specified by the user then we'll uh, keep adding the instructions so so uh, that is known as a minimal instruction set we'll see that uh, later on 
okay uh, and then uh, we need to also uh, have an uh, na, executing uh, execution unit specification that is we start with a basic uh, alu right so uh, we discussed uh, how a basic uh, alu looks like uh, uh, here here so right uh, so uh, we need to start we have to assume that okay we have an basic uh, na, alu right starting point has to be there uh, without that it becomes a uh, difficult uh, so so we assume that uh, uh, there is an uh, basic uh, uh, alu is available with us okay with uh, so uh, uh, the execution unit the programmers register what are the registers which are available for us for programming and uh, uh, additional registers and uh, uh, alu uh, internal data parts and uh, rules of operation okay uh, we will discuss about this uh, rules of operation also in uh, detail okay so uh, the starting point is these are the two inputs which has to be available before we start the uh, flow chart and uh, method right okay uh, so the first one is uh, execution unit so like i said uh, we assume we have an execution uh, unit now uh, we uh, decide that we have an uh, basic uh, alu okay so the step uh, first method is uh, first step will be okay to decide okay this is an execution unit which is available so we uh, we write down the uh, specifications of the execution uh, unit okay uh, and then uh, and then uh, now to uh, to have that execution unit you require a control lines right like we said if i go back here okay sorry i have to go here and we you require a control words right this we discussed uh, to tell the uh, alu no, 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 uh, what action it needs to be uh, taken right uh, whether you have to add uh, subtract do an and operation or uh, shift operation okay exclusive or uh, what is to be done okay that needs to be told through a uh, control word okay uh, so uh, we decide upon that also okay uh, next is uh, we uh, decide upon the uh, control uh, word that is in the uh, step uh, uh, 2 right okay uh, then uh, and and that needs to be uh, decoded okay what the decoder does is it it will give that uh, like in the earlier exam in the alu which we uh, decided uh, finally a four bit data needs to be given to the uh, execution unit uh, to tell uh, now what what it has to do right so this control word uh, decoder this is the control word and uh, a format and and finally a four bit data uh, for the example which we discussed a four bit data uh, needs to be uh, you know, given to the execution unit to uh, start executing uh, what you know, it is uh, uh, to tell the execution what it has to do right uh, so uh, and then uh, okay execution unit okay and then you will have uh, instruction uh, decoders right so whatever we have uh, uh, written uh, the code uh, that needs to be uh, uh, prefetched uh, like we discussed earlier and that needs to be uh, decoded right so uh, so you'll have an uh, 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 instruction uh, decoder out here uh, and then you can have an uh, na, a bus controller okay bus controller is na, what what it defines the uh, data bus and the address bus how that is going to uh, function so uh, these are the, uh, step by step so we'll see each one of them in uh, detail in the uh, coming uh, classes okay uh, okay uh, now like i said uh, for an uh, starting point uh, we will uh, start with some uh, minimum uh, uh, instructions okay minimum instruction uh, format and that means uh, once we are going to design a microprocessor uh, we will say first we have a basic alu uh, which i have shown uh, n number of times here that alu we have and we also uh, have we will say we have some uh, minimum instructions with us okay now we start with that basic alu and the minimum instructions and uh, try to uh, make a microprocessor and slowly slowly if we find that uh, more instructions are to be added we'll keep adding more instruction uh, similarly if we want to refine the alu then we'll keep uh, refining the uh, alu for more uh, functionality so uh, min instruction means minimal instruction format so this will be the uh, format okay and uh, the format this is the operation uh, code right it, it will say these few bits will tell uh, what kind of whether it is add subtraction uh, okay uh, what uh, logical uh, uh, shift or arithmetic shift what kind of operation needs to be done uh, this is the first operand on which the operation needs to be done 
this is the second uh, operand. The second operand can be a direct register in which an uh, Rx and Ry will be like suppose I write an uh, add and I put mode 0, 0, it will just add Rx and Ry, right? Okay, so that is uh, one kind of uh, this, um, uh, no, uh, no, uh, say for the for mode 0, 0, okay. Uh, for mode 0, 1, I can say uh, whatever is the contents of uh, Ry that is actually the uh, indicating the memory from where the data needs to be done um, to be brought okay so that could be uh, another mode and the other third mode could be okay uh, like whatever is the contents of Ry uh, add with the displacement which will be given as a second word and then compute the address and from there the data needs to be brought so essentially uh, this mode data will tell uh, now the second address uh, the first address is given by rx okay uh, simple one is register the second one uh, no, the second operand okay depends on the mode okay if it is mode 0 0 then simply the contents of rx and ry operation will be done on that uh, and if it is in a say in a, the, the second mode then the contents of ry that will indicate the memory location and in the maybe in the third mode the contents of ry will be added with the displacement so you now obviously when we are uh, fetching the instruction if i uh, find that it is in a uh, uh, if if I have say you know, the mode 3 out here then I, I will have to fetch one more uh, displacement and uh, one more data also uh, from the memory and then add these two uh, datas to generate the actual memory location from where the data needs to be uh, brought okay so this is the uh, some uh, instruction format you know, okay and and then you will have uh, some set of uh, registers okay uh, so <coughs> so this is uh, optional a displacement because you know, for the first two modes you don't require displacement for the third mode only uh, you require the displacement in data okay first word second word so uh, we will uh, assume that in the minimal instruction so these instructions are uh, available with us uh, so we start uh, designing the microprocessor now uh, with these a uh, set of uh, instructions okay now uh, what are these instructions if you see uh, add and um, branch if zero uh, 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 it is register indirect only uh, that means uh, if, if we are going to compare the contents of uh, two registers uh, and if, if uh, on a, and on a, uh, if it is on a, uh, or we uh, 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 compare the contents of one register if it is uh, zero uh, then uh, the memory location indicated by some other register okay uh, will jump to that uh, uh, location okay so that is why it is known as register indirect only uh, that means okay once we are compare going to compare the content of some register in the program branch if zero uh, okay so if it is zero uh, or it could be uh, no, uh, from the zero flag also if you, you know like in 8086 we studied uh, if you are doing uh, a minus b some instruction prior to this and if the zero flag gets and uh, 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 it gets activated then we do a jump instruction right so so this is like that branch if zero if, if a zero is encountered then uh, the program counter will uh, no, go uh, no, will <coughs> be updated uh, with the contents of some register okay which will point uh, towards the location where the program has to jump now so that is why it is known as a register indirect only uh, similarly uh, you can have a uh, load like a load is uh, like from where the from the memory location the data will be brought to the rx uh, pop pop is like uh, you have an, a stack pointer uh, so uh, uh, post increment uh, with register indirect only so what does this mean post increment with register indirect only uh, first the uh, address of the uh, 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 <coughs> stack pointer is uh, increased uh, uh, and then the data is uh, 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 stored there right uh, and and that is known as a uh, pop right when when the data is uh, brought from there from the stack register right and in the push it is first uh, uh, decremented and then the and data is pushed into so this these if, if you can recollect from your 8086 and a uh, lectures so these are the various kinds of instructions now uh, store is to store the data into the memory a uh, subtraction and uh, test okay test is nothing but an and of two registers uh, only thing is the contents of both the registers will not be destroyed it will remain as it is okay uh, so you just uh, do the uh, and operation 
uh, and then we uh, check the flag whether it is a uh, zero or one so these are the uh, basic instructions which we assume uh, will be uh, available with us okay uh, so from here and uh, we uh, start with the design of the uh, microprocessor okay uh, so there can be like i said there could be uh, no, uh, different kinds of uh, address modes the first is a register register okay uh, and then that would be a register uh, indirect where uh, ry holds the uh, address of the memory and the third one is uh, 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 base okay ab base in which uh, uh, here there will be some data available in the displacement also there will be some data available so you add both these and then the generate the address so these are the three uh, 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 various uh, modes of uh, addressing right so uh, in the next class we will uh, take on uh, actual designing of an a uh, microprocessor uh, so these are the three things which we require and uh, basic three things okay uh, before we start the microprocessor uh, design uh, first is and uh, like we started with here like an uh, understanding of an uh, 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 alu okay what an alu looks like okay this is first okay once an alu is available with us okay then we should know okay now <clears throat> what are the uh, uh, what is the instruction format okay so this is the uh, kind of instruction format okay so minimum instruction format okay minimal uh, so we start with uh, taking this instruction uh, format right and uh, also with this this minimum instruction set okay with these three things we start a microprocessor design a basic alu uh, the minimum set of uh, uh, instructions uh, and also the instruction uh, format okay uh, obviously from the instruction uh, format uh, we will come to know there are uh, three kinds of address modes so these are the basic parameters uh, which are the starting point for us to start a microprocessor uh, design so in the next class we will uh, start with microprocessor uh, design okay uh, using these uh, uh, these basics which we have uh, learned in this uh, class okay so uh, we will